Welcome to this presentation of the report on the work on biodiversity and climate change in collaboration with the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The plenary will be invited to consider this report at its eighth session under item 7c of the agenda, Assessing Knowledge, work related to the interlinkages between biodiversity and climate change and collaboration with the IPCC. The report is set out in document IPES 8.6. The plenary at its seventh session adopted the IPES rolling work program up to 2030. Under objective 1, assessing knowledge, the plenary included Deliverable 1b, a technical paper on the interlinkages between biodiversity and climate change. In decision IPES 7.1, the plenary agreed to the preparation of the technical paper based on the material contained in or referred to in the IPES assessment reports and, on an exceptional basis, the assessment reports of IPCC. The technical paper would be prepared with a view to informing the Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity at its 15th meeting and the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change at its 26th session. In the same decision, the plenary requested the Executive Secretary to explore with the Secretariat of IPCC possible joint activities relating to biodiversity and climate change including the possibility of jointly preparing the technical paper and to report on the discussions on further options for potential joint activities and deliverables related to biodiversity and ecosystem services and climate change with reference to their time and resource implications to the plenary at IPES 8. Following the seventh session of the IPES plenary, the Executive Secretary transmitted those parts of Decision IPES 7.1 to IPCC and engaged in informal consultations. It became clear that the time frame set out by the IPES 7 decision and the current intense workload of IPCC related to the finalization of the sixth assessment report did not allow for the joint preparation of the technical paper. Instead, IPCC agreed to co-sponsor a workshop on biodiversity and climate change with IPBES. The workshop was originally planned to be hosted by the Government of the United Kingdom with additional support provided by Norway from 12th to 14th of May 2020. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the workshop had to be postponed and was held online from 14 to 17 of December 2020. The workshop report will be made available in document IPES 8 in 20, together with a video presentation of its content. Decision IPES 7.1 also refers to the exploration of further options for possible joint deliverables and activities on biodiversity and climate change. To date, the focus of consultations with IPCC has been limited to the organization of the co-sponsored workshop on biodiversity and climate change and the preparation and finalization of its workshop report. However, the Secretariat conducted a desk study on theoretical options on potential forms of collaboration between IPCC and IPES for the information of the IPES plenary. These options are based on the understanding that the type of products that IPCC and IPES prepare are very similar and follow very similar procedures. In theory, it may be possible for IPCC and IPES to conduct a joint assessment. In practice, a number of procedural complexities may need to be considered. IPCC and the IPES plenary would need to take a number of identical decisions over four sessions. Those decisions would include, as a first step, 
a decision to establish a joint group to prepare the initial scoping of the assessment and modalities for a joint scoping process and the joint assessment process. In a second step, IPCC and the IPIS plenary would both need to approve those modalities and to approve the commencement of a joint scoping process. In a third step, the scoping uh, report would be approved by both IPCC and IPES, and both would need to agree to the undertaking of the assessment. In a final step, both IPCC and the IPES plenary would approve the summary for policymakers and accept the chapters of the report. Some of these steps may require the organization of joint extraordinary sessions of IPCC and the IPES plenary, or the organization of regular sessions of IPCC and the IPES plenary back to back in order to allow for joint meetings. In theory, IPCC and IPES may also prepare a joint technical paper. A technical paper, once finalized, would not be considered by IPCC and the IPES plenary, but be finalized by the report co-chairs and lead authors involved in consultation with the editorial board of the paper. Both IPCC and IPES would need to take decisions approving the development of a joint technical paper on a specific subject. They may also want to mandate their respective subsidiary bodies to agree on modalities for the selection of experts, the preparation of the technical paper and its finalization. The procedures of IPES and IPCC on co-sponsored workshops are similar. IPCC and IPES held a co-sponsored workshop in December 2020 on biodiversity and climate change. Co-sponsored workshops are approved by the relevant IPCC body and the IPES Bureau and Multidisciplinary Expert Panel in support of a plenary approved activity. The proceedings of the workshop are finalized without the involvement of the IPCC or the IPES plenary by the Scientific Steering Committee of the workshop. It would also be possible in theory to establish a liaison group between IPCC and IPES. This would require identical decisions by IPCC and the IPES plenary on the establishment of the liaison group, also referring to the terms of reference of the group. In sum, as the products and procedures of IPCC and IPES are similar, there are in theory a range of options for collaboration between the two bodies. However, they are procedurally complex and some would require significant resources. The different options have not been explored with IPCC yet, as the current collaboration has been on the organization of the co-sponsored workshop in December 22. The plenary will be invited to consider the following draft decision. The plenary welcomes the report on the workshop on biodiversity and climate change, co-sponsored by the platform and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and invites the experts who will prepare the Nexus assessment to make use of the report in the undertaking of that assessment, in line with the procedures for the preparation of platform deliverables decides in line with the need for ongoing adaptive management as set out in Section 2, Paragraph 12 of Decision IPES 7.1, that with the completion of the report on the Workshop on Biodiversity and Climate Change, a technical paper on biodiversity and climate change, the preparation of which was agreed in Section 2, Paragraph 6 of Decision IPES 7.1, is no longer required welcomes the note by the Secretariat on the work on biodiversity and climate change in collaboration with the IPCC, invites the Chair and the Executive Secretary of IPES to continue to explore with the Chair and Secretary of the IPCC possible joint activities between the panel and IPES, 
including those set out in Section 2 of the Note on Biodiversity and Climate Change, and to report on progress to the plenary at its ninth session. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.